Welcome back to Cadia Stands. Today I'll be showing you how to do a quick and easy classic Cadian's paint scheme for your Astra Militarum tanks. This scheme works for Lehman Ross battle tanks, chimeras, basilisks, wyverns, hellhounds, and many others. It uses very few main colors and can be completed very quickly. If you want to magnetize the weapon options, do this before assembly and painting. A great how-to guide for this is linked in the description below. Here are the paints needed to complete this color scheme. You'll also need a medium layer brush, a large dry brush, and a sponge. You'll see why later. Start by priming the main body of the tank and the turret separately with Death Guard Green. This is a great primer and will form a strong base layer ready to accept further coats. Prime the treads while they're still on the sprue with Lead Belcher. Do not attach these to the model until the very end to make painting them much easier. Coat the entire tank body and turret with a dark green spray. Here I'm using Model Master Flat Dark Green, but any similar color will work just fine. Next, get out your pot of lead belcher and paint the lasgun arrays in silver details, taking extra care not to get any paint on the dark green surfaces you just sprayed. Dip your sponge into the lead belcher and remove most of the paint from the sponge with a paper towel just like a normal dry brush. Dab this on the raised edges of the model to create a great chips metal effect. It's easy to overdo this, so go slowly with only a little paint on the sponge. Next, get out your Agrax Earthshade. Make sure to shake this thoroughly before use to prevent a glossy finish. Carefully outline each rivet and panel line with Agrax Earthshade, making sure you don't use too much. This is a relatively time-consuming process, but leads to some great depth in the finished model. We'll now do a dry brush of Terminata Stone over the entire model with our large dry brush. Make sure not to overdo it and go slowly. Use Wraithbone to pick out the Aquilas and Banners on the sides of the tanks. This will take multiple thin coats. Make sure not to get overspill in the dark green areas. Go over the Wraithbone with some Nuln Oil to add depth. Cover the treads with a coat of Nuln Oil, then Agrax Earthshade while still on the sprue. Once dry, attach them to the model. There you have it. A quick, easy Cadian paint scheme that will allow you to complete a huge Astra Militara mechanized force in no time at all. Add some decals if you like and cover the entire model in a coat of matte varnish to protect your brand new paint job. Thank you all for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials and tips. Until next time, Cadia stands.